with you. Welcome back to yet another episode of our series Rising Stars, which profiles the emerging talent in the music industry. And today on this special episode, we have with us California Punjabi-based artist D. Kali with us. We welcome you here today. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. So my first question to you, to you is that uh, you tell us about your musical journey so far. Yes, so musical journey is you know has been very roller coaster, you know, right? And uh, I've been um, you know uh, started making music uh, when I was in high school. Started writing lyrics, raps, and uh, while growing up, I was interested in making some new compositions and new sound, and I was. I was interested in, you know, learning more uh, and uh, focus on this career as well. So when I was in college, I decided I should, um, you know, go to a musical school where I can get the knowledge. And um, from there, I went to uh, LA Recording School. And after graduating from there, I started making my own songs and music. I started collaborating uh, with other other artists as well. So yeah, that's great. So it's been four years now. Yes. So who are some of your you know musical uh, influences, both in the you know Punjabi and urban music scenes that you are you know inspired of? You look up to them. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I've been, you know, since my childhood days, uh, I like Jazzy B. I've been listening to him since then. And I started listening to him, Ron Khan, Jay Sean, Juggy D, Rich You Rich, and Yo Yo Honey Singh as well. You know, they all created new sound in the industry. So they all influenced me. Yes. So uh, recently, uh, the Gally, you have, you know, came up with your new song, Pedia Home. So tell us about the you know creative process and you know how uh, how was the experience and uh, what was the you know theme ab- around that song? Yeah, the experience was very good. Uh, Teriya Galla song is the first uh, track from my upcoming album. Uh, and uh, we were making a lot of songs and uh, this one of the song which we were creating uh on this Tiriangala beat it was a different song but somehow we felt like we can make a better song and we uh Mizaj from Delhi the writer he gave us the uh lyrics of this song and we really liked it and somehow the beat and the composition and the lyrics matched and we made this a uh, not a really nice uh, urban Punjabi romantic song and uh, we did the music video in California but we recorded the vocals in Delhi in India and um, really the process was really amazing yeah so can you sing two lines of this song yes <clears throat> तेरिया ही गल्ला बिलो हुंदियां ने शहर च केड़े तू शेड्स लाए केड़ी जुती पैर च चक देने टाइम तेरा तपदी दोपहर च हर मुंडा मंगे तेनु रब कोलो खैर च तेरिया ही गल्ला बिलो थैंक यू दैट वाज अमेजिंग सो यू नो हाउ सिग्निफिकेंट आर स्ट्रीमिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स for you like you know spotify apple music youtube you know your for your you know overall venue and also what strategies do you use to maximize you know those earnings from uh, that streaming platforms so yes uh, you know we use all the streaming platforms uh, you know i use tunecore or sometimes different companies as well but we try uh to uh put song on all the platforms and we try to uh promote our, our song on all the streaming platforms and all the social media and try to target our audience and reach uh to as many as uh fan base possible and uh, living in california you know i have the ability to uh use a uh, youtube adwords or you know we can also use ad managers uh, on uh, instagram to target delhi punjab or even mumbai wherever you want to do that so that's all the strategies we try to uh, we're using as of right now yeah 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know how do you you know plan uh plan your you know music videos uh the about the budgeting and you know all the financial planning for your for how the how 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 it has uh been done so far. So yeah, I've been doing that by myself as well. Uh, but I do, you know, still discuss with my team, uh, my music producer, and all, and my writer, and we discuss which song is better, and which song we need to, you know, do the music video of, and uh, from there we plan like how much budget we want to use of uh, promoting a song, or which song, or you know, which uh, music video, which songs music video should be more. uh you know high budget or low budget so yeah we decide as a team and i also make my own decision as well yeah yeah that's great so as being a you know independent artist you uh, we mentioned so uh, what are the challenges you faced you know uh regard in terms of you know it was i feel uh, since some time only the independent artists ha- have started doing really well for themselves I mean, because we have platforms like Instagram, Spotify. We don't. They don't need any specific record labels to you you know promote their own song. They can do it by by themselves, and they're doing very well these days. But what are what are challenges you faced in you? So the the main challenge is there's a lot of competition going on, and what I try is to be unique uh, as possible and try to make a different type of songs than what other. artists are doing and then uh, you know try to promote our song at the right audience uh, the right fan base and that's what i'm trying to do as of right now and there are uh, many challenges but thanks to sh- social media you know you can you know be anywhere and send your song to the whole world so yeah So on that only, really, you know how do you leverage social media to enhance your revenue streams and any specific campaigns you follow to you know promote your song that recently you have received your uh, you just released your new song uh, teri angalla so are you using any kind of campaigns okay uh yeah so to promote a song you need to uh, do some kind of campaigns uh, for example uh, on youtube uh, there uh, you know if you want to promote a songs uh, you can do a uh, google adwords uh, to target your audience or you know on instagram you can also promote uh, your song there as well by uh, ad manager and these are the you know tools we're using as of right now to bring our song out to everybody yeah so you know punjab music business is you know i i i, I would i would say it's their era punjabi music and it ha- it is here to stay relevant in you know upcoming years so what's your take on that about you know what we can expect from 2024 in 2024 from punjabi music basically yeah so as you already know the punjabi music you know it's a punjabi music era going on since long time now and it's growing every day and um, you know you can see there's a lot of uh, you know artists are performing worldwide uh, for example diljit dosanjh performed at coachella uh last year and i think this year ap dillo also performed there so uh you know punjabi artists are going worldwide and doing uh international collaborations as well and in 2024 it's just going to keep growing yeah so uh, to tell you what we can expect from you in the near future for your fans and any upcoming projects or tours like Yeah, as of right now, I'm working on my album, uh, which we're going to release uh, very soon, and we're gonna release uh, single tracks uh, one by one uh, this year. And I'm also planning to come to India to promote the album for the album release as well. Yeah. Any tours lined up in you know Delhi, Mumbai. Yes, uh we're planning Delhi, Mumbai and Chandigarh as well. Yes. So oh, wow. that's great. So okay. it was lovely having you. Thank you so much for your time. All right. No All problem. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thanks. having me. Thank you. Thank you.